Hey everyone, Desiree here. So in today's video, I'm gonna do some fall favorites. It has been so long since I've done a favorites video, so I was really excited as I was getting my stuff ready and you know pulling all the <laughs> all the items and stuff because I have a lot of stuff to share. So I hope you all have been enjoying the weather. Uh, it has gotten so cold here in Las Vegas. It is like it's really weird because Las Vegas has extreme weather. It's either extremely hot and our winters, our falls and our winters get extremely cold. So it seems like one day it was hot and then the next day it was cold. Um, there is a joke about Las Vegas weather and, and they say that it's the only city where you will run your air conditioner and your heater in the same day. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get started with my fall favorites. Like I said, I have a lot to share and I do have a planner item to share, which is, which is kind of cool and it's kind of fun. You know, I haven't been doing a whole lot of planner content these past few months, but I do still use planners and I love them. And uh, I just, you know, <laughs> they keep me organized. What can I say? So let me go ahead and start off then with my first favorite, my planner favorite for fall. And that is my Sakura. I think I'm pronouncing that right. This is a planner cover from Planners Anonymous. And I bought this months ago. And I've been using this as my kind of skincare beauty notebook slash planner. Now, if you're really into skincare, you know that sometimes it can get very overwhelming because you do certain treatments on certain days. Some things you do once a week, some things you do once a month, some things you do, um, you know, every other day, whatever. So I have been keeping track of all my skincare stuff in this notebook. And it is a cover. So you can see I've got a happy, oops, sorry for the glare. I've got a happy planner classic size in there. And uh, it's been working out really well. You know, I also have some, you know, things I've printed out, you know, uh, like procedures and routines and stuff like that, because I do a lot of uh, DIY skincare here at home. So I needed something to keep track of it. Now, the other nice thing about this is that it came, well, I shouldn't say it came with, I bought the I don't know what it's called, I guess the kit. So it came with this cute little matching bag. And then inside the bag, you got some stickers and some papers, like some acetates and stuff like that. So you got a cute little pouch. And inside the pouch, you get die cuts and stickers. And then you got some uh, stamps, which I'm not going to use, and a journaling card. And then you got some papers here. So if you wanted to make your own cover, and then this is an acetate, which I haven't opened. Um, like I said, I haven't been doing a lot of the, I guess, decor uh, with planners. I've just been, you know, using my planners <laughs> functionally. To keep track of stuff but you know you did this did come with all these nice things well you had to pay extra i should say but anyway um that has been a favorite because this has been really really helping me like i said stay on track with my schedule of things that i'm doing for my skin so that's the only planner favorite i have i think uh yeah that's the only planner thing i have so the other thing that has been really good is uh, Kaden has been doing tutoring twice a week and where he tutors, there is a gym probably about two minutes away. So I finally decided to join a gym again, join the gym again. <laughs> so because I am back in the gym at least twice a week, I do a lot of workouts at home. I do yoga at home and I do uh, some online work. Well, I should say, YouTube workouts that are totally free. I did have to buy myself a new gym bag and I picked this one up at Target. And you can see it's pretty big. I will have this link down below, but I absolutely love it. It's a, a lot bigger than what I thought it was going to be. 
but you know that's not a problem because I'd rather have more space than not enough. So here's the inside here. You can see I've got a towel in there and um, looks like a notepad probably was a grocery list. But it's got lots of pockets. It also has a shoulder strap, which I don't use because the handle straps are long enough that I could put this over my shoulder and I can go in the gym, do what I got to do, and then I don't have to worry about anything. And it fits in the lockers really nicely, so I don't worry about that. And I just love it. It's um, very high quality. I think the bag was about $29, and the color I love. And so far, it's holding up really, really well. So if you're in the market for a new gym bag, I highly recommend this one. All right, so let's move on to some beauty favorites. I'm going to start with my eyelashes. If you follow me on Instagram, you will know that I have recently shared about the magnetic false lashes and I do have them on today. I hope you can you can tell <laughs> that my lashes are kind of popping today. But uh, I bought these on Amazon. These are the, I think it's pronounced Lux Luxilia. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I will have them linked down below. You don't have to get this particular brand if you're interested in giving them a try. But this one on Amazon had some really, really good reviews. And so uh, it was affordable. I want to say it was maybe $14 and you get five pairs of magnetic lashes in this kit. You get five pairs of lashes. You get the uh, magnetic liner, which is how they stick onto your eye. And I'll show you. Uh, I actually messed up a pair because I, they're very long, so I had to trim these down so they would fit my eye. And I messed up the first one, but I got the second ones on. I did have to trim them. You can see it comes with the liner, and then it comes with a little uh, tweezer slash applicator to help you put them on. And I absolutely love them. I mean, you can see here, like, I'm flicking them, and they don't come off. They last all day. No lash glue. I absolutely love them. So again, I will have them linked down below in case you're interested in giving them. All right, a next up, this is kind of a simple one, but it is the nail polish remover pads. And I got these from Target, but of course you can buy them anywhere. I've seen them at Walgreens, CVS, that type of thing. Uh, but what I'm really loving about the nail polish remover pads is that these are actually felt. So the actual pad that is saturated with the nail polish remover is a felt pad. Now, why is that good? Well, as opposed to cotton, the felt pads will help you to remove uh, gel polish and glitter polish. Because if you've ever worn glitter polish, you know how hard it is to get off. And I really like these because I don't have to worry about, you know, having cotton and then the ball of or the bottle of remover separately. And you can take these on the go. And they're so convenient. I absolutely love them. I think um, I will probably only purchase these going forward just because they work so well. And like I said, I like to do gel polish. I like to do the nail polish strips, which are a little bit harder to get off than, you know, actual polish. And these work beautifully. Okay, so let's get into some... I think I have... Oh, I have one body product that I want to share. So... A girlfriend of mine, and it's funny because our skins are totally different. She is an older Caucasian woman, <laughs> but she was telling me she was raving about this body lotion because she also does a lot of DIY skincare, and I'll get into that later on in this channel if any of you are interested. But she was telling me about this Gold Bond Ultimate Radiance Renewal Lotion. This is a heavy-duty lotion. If you have really dry skin, um you need to give this a try because not only is it, is it a heavy duty moisturizer, but it also does some, um, I guess, exfoliating. This is so good. I put this on in the morning when I get out the shower and honestly, like the, even the next day, my skin is still moisturized. I bought this big family size from Target. I think it was only about $9.99, but I love this lotion. 
Again, if you have really, really dry skin, I have really dry skin on my legs and uh, this stuff has been amazing. I use it on my feet, I use it on my elbows, everywhere that's really dry and really kind of like not as smooth and soft as you'd like it to be. Uh, give this a try. I think you'll really, really like it. Again, it's a heavier lotion, so it may not be something that you want to use in the summer, but for the colder months, uh, this stuff is amazing. Okay, so let's get into my wellness favorites for fall. I'm going to start off with my little chews here. Now, because I'm really into, uh, like I've said many times, uh, anti-aging skincare and all that stuff, I like to take, well, I shouldn't say I like, but I do, well, I guess I like it. I take quite a bit of uh, supplements and vitamins and herbs and stuff like that to really, I believe, help me uh, regenerate my skin and just, you know, for overall health and wellness. Uh, but two things that I have been loving for the past few months are these chews. I have resveratrol chews, and then I also have the NeoCell Beauty Burst. And I take these with my regular vitamins once a day. Uh, resveratrol, if you're not familiar, is a wonderful anti-aging supplement. It helps to uh, kind of regenerate the skin. It's anti-inflammatory, antioxidant. If you are over the age of 35, I really recommend you take resveratrol because it's so good for you. It's also good for heart health, and they say it's also good for bones too, which us women need. Uh, the other little chewable is the NeoCell Beauty Burst. This is a collagen and hyaluronic acid and vitamin C. And I'll show you what these look like here. They're just these little little chews and you take two a day and they taste really yummy <laughs> I uh, kind of take mine as my dessert after after my one meal a day and then the resveratrol chews are the same thing you can see they're just like little you take one of these I think you're supposed to take two. Oh no you're only supposed to take one but sometimes I take two and uh, like I said, it's really good for your skin. It helps keep your skin really, really plump. I mean, I do a lot of things, so I can't say that these are the only things that are helping my skin. But honestly, I think, you know, with joint pain and stuff like that, I think that the collagen helps. I mean, I don't have joint pain, but I know a lot of people do. And when they started taking collagen, they said that they've gotten relief from that. And I, and I think, too, it also helps with, you know, inflammation because that's, that's really the thing that causes a lot of uh, skin and health issues is chronic or acute inflammation in the body. So uh, I wanted to share that and I will also have those linked down below. All right, so the other thing I wanna share with you, uh, like I said, because I do take a lot of supplements, is my Vera Bradley pill case, I guess. Uh, I bought this, we have a Vera Bradley outlet here in Las Vegas at the outlet mall. And I bought one of these for travel and I didn't realize how, how, uh, just how useful it would be even if you're not traveling. Like I said, I take a lot of supplements, so it has a little section for each day of the week. Let me show you. So you can see it's got the Monday pills here. And I think it's, uh, yeah, it says morning, noon, evening, night. But you don't have to follow, you know, follow that exactly. But because it gives you four compartments, you know, that's a lot of pills you can put in there. I mean, of course, it's great for travel, but I just use it as my everyday uh, vitamin and supplement organizer. And then every Sunday night, I refill them all for the week. And it's so much easier than having, you know, 20 bottles in front of you. And then you're opening each bottle trying to get your supplements out. And then if you're on the go... You can just take your little uh, vitamins for the day, throw them in your purse, your backpack, whatevs. And, you know, it just makes it so easy and it saves you a lot of time and then it helps you not to forget. So I really love this. Again, it's a Vera Bradley. Uh, I don't know if this exact print is still available, but if I can find this, I will definitely link it. Okay, below. so now I'm going to, to share a, uh, not really a food favorite, 
but it is a fall favorite because these are some new flavors. If you have not tried the Silk Oat Creamer, oh my gosh, you really need to. Now, I'm not a coffee drinker. I do drink tea, but I do put uh, non-dairy creamer in my tea just because I love the way it tastes. It kind of makes like a tea latte. And I saw these at, I think I got this at Target. And they had they have a bunch of flavors out right now because they have all the fall flavors. So this one is the maple brown sugar. I also have it in the oatmeal cookie. And then they also have one, uh, I think it's called pumpkin spice. Yeah, I think it's pumpkin spice. And I bought that one too, but I drank it all up. So <laughs> I only have these two left. But these are so, so good. And they're made from oat milk. So if you have a dairy issue, uh, you can have these. And I don't have a milk frother, but um, I saw someone else on YouTube use this creamer in her milk frother and it frothed up beautifully. So uh, these are only seasonal um, flavors. So if you are in Target or if you're curious about trying them, um, I think you're gonna love it. I know you won't be disappointed. They are so, so good. Okay, so my last favorite is going to be candles, yes. Now, in a couple videos back, I mentioned to you guys that I am, uh, I'm kind of doing some fundraising and I have started to uh, sell some candles. And uh, they, it's been a lot of fun. I've used these candles for years, but I have finally decided to, to kind of, uh, I guess get into the opportunity <laughs> to share these candles with you now if you're interested I'll have a link below but I do want to tell you some of the favorites uh, the favorite fragrances we have been burning uh, in this past week because we do burn candles here every day uh, the candles are called Mia Bella and these are palm wax candles palm wax candles are clean burning candles with virtually no soot. These are 16 ounce jars. There's over, I think, 80 different fragrances and they also have fragrance, fragrances uh, that are seasonal. And so right now they have a lot of fall and winter slash Christmas scents that they are releasing. But this one I love, I burned this one in, in Caden's room. This is the peach smoothie because if you have a teenage boy, you know that sometimes, uh, Things are not <laughs> very fragrant or I should say they're fragrant in a different kind of way so I burn the peach smoothie candle in his room usually just for like maybe an hour or two and because these are so fragrant uh, that's pretty much all we need so we don't keep the candle burning however you could if you wanted to and then the one that I have been using in the main room this week is the it's from the free spirit collection again mia bella and i think this one is called havana nights i'm not sure i will put the um the name of this or the the name of this scent um on here somewhere when i go look it up but anyway it is a clean burning candle you can see the palm wax crystals in there i love these candles um, I will do a whole video on this probably after I film this in case somebody is interested in just that. But uh, that is it for my fall time favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you use any of these products or if you already know how wonderful they are, share with me in the comments what you think. And if you do try some because you've never heard or you've never seen these things, I also want to know what you think. So I hope you have a fabulous day. I hope you are enjoying fall. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.